I am currently in Paris with Shiseido, who look after Serge Luton and my stomach is full. I'm suffering from a food coma. We've just come back from a restaurant and having drinks and I'm just going to unwind. We have spent the day finding out about the home collection by Serge Luton and we actually went to the store to have a look at it and also get a preview of the new collection. So this is me in my hotel room about to unwind but I thought I'll quickly come on here to show you my outfit. This is an oldie but goodie by Sister Jane. Um, let's see if you can get a scope of the full look. You can't, but yeah. Let's see if that works. But basically, that's what I'm working with. And um, is the bedroom light on? This is what the bedroom looks like. We've got a nice view of Paris, which I'll show to you tomorrow because the blinds are down. But yeah, these are some goodies that I'll unbox in the morning from Serge Luton and the Ritz where we had lunch earlier on. But I just quickly talk, I'll come on camera and um, talk you through my time in Paris. It's been a while since I've vlogged. So here I am, I'm about to unwind for the evening and settle in bed because I'm heading back to London tomorrow where I've got a busy schedule <laughs> ahead of me. So I'll catch you there. Let's go to Paris for Christmas. This year. Let's go to Paris for Christmas this year. We'll stroll down Champs Elysees, wishing. Charles de Gaulle out of St. Louis Lambert Field. So let's make a clean getaway. Good morning from Paris. It's a beautiful day. Skies are grey, but nonetheless still beautiful. This is the view from my window. It's beautiful, isn't it? Okay, so I want to show you what's in the goodie bags that we got um, yesterday from Serge Luton, okay. This, I believe, is the new home diffuser, which has now launched in France, but I don't believe it's available in the UK yet. It becomes available in January, and this is what it looks like. It looks like a house. And that's the roof of the house and it's an electric diffuser yeah that's what it looks like i'm not gonna bring everything out because in fact should i bring it out let's see if i can bring it out let's do it <laughs> i've got time okay put this aside this is the base of the house as you can clearly see roof out yeah got the roof out 
yeah so it goes on like this this is what you get it looks pretty neat doesn't it okay i'll put that back in it's gonna fit Let's see what's in the other. Okay, so that's the scent for the diffuser itself, which you put inside the diffuser for it to fill out your home. Next, this was in my bedroom when I arrived in the hotel. Um, let's see. I think we've got perfume. The thing with the brand is that they're quite minimalist and inquisitive as well. So they have these really plain looking designs that create an air of intrigue. So, or that's what it's supposed to do. And you're supposed to want to then open it and look a bit more into it. This is another perfume, I believe. And this one is called Rose the Nude. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly or Rose the New. <laughs> I don't speak French. <laughs> and this I believe, okay, Hand and Body Cleansing Gel. Great. So you see the design and packaging tends to be black and very minimal. Face and Shower Primer, this one is. Oh, I don't think I have time to start opening everything. So you're gonna have to bear with me just showing you what this is. This is a blusher as well. Because I've got a train to catch in a bit. What's this one? Matte lipstick. When I get back to Manchester and I eventually use it, I will show you. Fingers crossed, I can keep up with the vlogs. <laughs> um, because these days when I go about my work, I want to be present and I don't necessarily always want to have the camera out in order to capture um, content, if you will. Oh yeah, I've got the itinerary for this day. Well, I already had a digital copy, so in the uh, Let's see. Okay. And finally, yesterday we went to the Ritz and we had lunch. It was delicious and they were kind enough to give us something as we were leaving. Voila! <laughs> this is, it has um, Le Comptoir Francois Perret. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. <laughs> Let me know if you're French and I did a really good attempt. Oh, just look at this. Look at this. Okay, this I am not going to touch because Craig did not come with me on this journey and he does love his sweet treats. So I'm going to save this for him and take him back to Manchester with me. Even though it's going to be very hard because I'm in London for the next two days. So I'm going to try my best not to dabble into this. Okay, and now it's time for me to get dressed and go i am not gonna put on any makeup this is just my skin let me know if you'd like to know what my skincare routine is i'm loving my skin at the moment just look at all that glow mm. got lip gloss on because i don't want to have dry lips while traveling see you on the other side let's go to paris for christmas this year Let's go to Paris For Christmas This year We'll throw Mona Lisa glance 
Good afternoon from London. I checked into my hotel and fell asleep. As you can see, the bed is unmade. But when I arrived, I had my dress for tonight's occasion from Victor and Rolf here. So this is what I'm going to be wearing for the Christmas party tonight. I think I'm going to layer it with a blouse because this opening is quite huge. Yeah, we don't want any boobage spillage. I am back in my abode in Manchester and before I upload this vlog I just wanted to quickly share with you some of the new in pieces in my wardrobe and in beauty in the mail that have come through but the wardrobe pieces are mostly handbags that I've been rocking for the past few months that were sent to me by brands so I'll just quickly go through it. The first is the Bulgari Serpentine Tote. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen it. Just check out this beauty. This is the front of the bag. And behind you've got, you know, the Bulgari logo there. But just look at this gold detail here. And it's also got a strap. It's perfect for styling this season. Um, and I've been wearing it pretty much um, at least twice a week since I got it um, two months ago. Yeah. Let me know what you think of this one. Next, we have got the Gucci horse bit bag. This is not the large. I think this is the mini. I believe, yes, it's the mini. And it's got a strap, but it's also got an additional strap. Um, that's multicolored, red and green. But I've been wearing it with this strap because it's more my style. That's what it looks like on the inside. Yeah, and I've got um, a pair of horse bit um, shoes as well from Gucci that I've had for a couple of years now. They just work perfectly well with this bag. I feel like this bag is easy to style. It was gifted to me by a brand called Labeled and they are a sustainable brand in terms of like luxury, being able to rent their pieces and buy the pieces and also resell your pre-loved them um, designer pieces on your website so check them out if you want to find out more about them and i would say one of my favorites is this kate spade tote the price point is wonderful in terms of like it's not outrageous compared to you know the likes of dior 
Um, this is just around 300 pounds if I'm saying it correctly or under 400 pounds. It's got a longer strap but just look at these details. Just look at this. Definitely a statement piece in my opinion. I've been rocking it. It's perfect for gallivanting up and down London <laughs> from Manchester. Holds my laptop. A lot of essentials can go in here basically and if you're doing a night in London this is great. Um, yeah, love this one. So now let's go into some beauty products that came in the post while I was away. The first being oops, <laughs> this um, scent from um, Salvatore Ferragamo. It's called Signorina and it's part of the I believe 10 years launch of the Eau de Perfume. Yes, so let's just open it up so I can quickly show you what's inside. Um, I don't want to repeat the like Serge Luton experience in Paris where I was just taking stuff out but not really giving you the full experience as to what is inside the box. I had never tried this scent before. In fact, I don't believe I own any Ferragamo scents. Yeah, but the bottle itself looks nice and chic. Take a look at this. Beautiful, isn't it? Do you open it this way? Yes, you do. Yes, indeed. Let's see. Let's get a whiff of this. Is it coming out? Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Beautiful floral scents. Of course, I don't know the notes um, in it, but I'll find out um, once I start using it. But yeah, it smells nice. More my style. And they also sent me these as well, which are note cards and envelopes that I could use to write beautiful letters to my friends this season and other seasons to come. So next we've got a package from Glossier. I didn't even know Glossier was in the UK, but they came to Manchester a couple of weeks ago and they threw an event and I was invited and they popped this in the post for me. Am I going to be able to yeah, take this out? This feels like a mathematics um, set. <laughs> Reminds me of like secondary school. So we've got a perfume set, travel size perfume set and lipstick, which I'm going to take out because they did show us um, what was inside while we were at the event. I'll just take them out and quickly show it to you. So how does this open? I'm not sure. Okay. So that's the lipstick. And I don't know if you can see, but yeah, it's red in color, glossy A. It's basically see-through and you put it on like it does have that. Oh no, let's do this. You can see it. That's the color. Yeah. And it's glossy and nice on the lips. I already have um, lip gloss on, hence why I'm not trying it on. But let's see if I can open this. What is, okay, yeah, I'm supposed to twist it. Oh, it's a perfume roll on. Roll it on. Easy enough to travel with. Actually smells nice, but I shouldn't try it there. I should try it on this arm where I didn't spray the Ferragamo. Yes, yeah, quite nice and subtle. I think it's great um, if you want to feel fresh in the morning while traveling. So nice travel size and pieces from Glossier, which I'm going to put aside. I also got a candle from Glossier. Can I open it? Can I open it? Yeah. So this is the candle. Let's bring it out. Oops. Let's see. <clears throat> Okay guys, I have so many candles, but I am saving them for when we buy a house. Some of them I'm burning, but my favorites, I'm saving them for my mini mansion. <laughs> 
Yeah, oh, and it's got my name on it. Bony. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, that's another piece from Glossier. And I got this package from Benefit Cosmetics. They actually do really nice cosmetics. So I'm just going to unbundle this. Let's see what's inside. Uh, it's not it's wrapped really tight. Okay, so all very Christmassy here. And this one says Merry Mini Nail. Okay. Is it going to come out? Yeah, it's coming out. Again, yeah. it reminds me of a mathematics set. Something inside. Let's discover what's inside. Oh! Bang. I'm not sure what this is, but I've seen a product that I've just ran out of from Benefit Cosmetics. So this is mascara. This one's mascara. And hence why I was excited. But this is like for your eyebrows to hold it up. Like you can brush it and then you hold it up because that's the look I've been going for lately. Natural brows. Oh, I've just run out of this and I'm so happy to have received this in the post because I was thinking of ordering a new one. And this one is Professional Pore Primer. So there's a primer in here. I'm actually happy that I got this in the post, not going to lie. Next in the package, we have got the blush in brush delivery. Okay, let's get that out. They're gonna come out. So put an upper fight. Okay, no, stuck. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. It's like this is the new packaging set. Put in a tin box. It's great for storage. So here we've got, um, what is this? Oh, a brush. Perfect. Blush brush. That's what I'm going to use it for. Just look at this. Yeah. Okay. Great. Happy with this. Blush brush, powder brush, whichever one takes your fancy. And also we have got Terra Spark. It is sealed, so bear with me while I take it off. Let's see. Oops. It's tightly sealed. I hate when you can't get into products. <laughs> Come on now. Am I there? Okay. That's what it looks like. I feel like this might be a bronzer. Of sorts. Let's put it here. Oh, the light on my camera is going too dark. I don't know if you can see. Oh, and the color changes to pink, even though it looks quite gold. But you can see where I've rubbed it. It's a bit, a bit pink. Okay. So put those aside. Next in the package is. Full Glam Greetings, that's what it says. Well, it's actually stuck to the bottom. Yay. Okay, that's what it looks like. More tin packaging. We've got some Christmas stickers in here. more of the same in the first package we've got but in a larger size we've got a large mascara got the large primer just the same in the first package um, we've got the um, eyebrow gel same as the first one so I'm happy with this supply and here something else extra that was added in 
which is also sealed. I'm going to have to undo this one as well. Okay, that came off easy enough. Hula, I don't know if this is a powder. Oh, matte bronzer. This is what this is, a matte bronzer. I'm going to try somewhere else. Uh, can you see at this point? The light's gone, but I'm going to have to fix it during the edit. Okay, and that's all we have for the Glossier. And while I was in London, I stopped by the Teak um, in Sloan Street because they've just opened a new store. And they gifted me something that is very, very Christmassy. So let's go in here. Oh, here we have it. The Teak. Am I holding it the correct way? Yes, this is it, and I'm going to open it up and give you a taste of what you might be getting in this wonderful package if you so decide to check it out. Okay, you pull it out from here, from ooh, Christmas candles, this is what we have in here. Hmm. <gasps> More candles I'm going to have to save for my mansion. Oh, I'm so tempted to burn these. I think I'm just going to have to burn this for my apartment this season. Hmm. Okay, what flavour is this one? Does it say... doesn't quite say what flavour this is. But it all smells very Christmassy. Whew. Hmm, okay, sorry guys, I'm gonna have to burn this, this season. And that's it for me, um, with regards to everything new that I got recently in the post while I was away. Oh no, <laughs> more on the Christmas note, um, Rocket St. George, which is a home, well, which is a home brand, actually sent me these Christmas tree decorations. Love, love, oh, love, love. <laughs> Face forward, love, and more love. More love to you, more love to you, more love to me. Okay, guys, I'm losing my mind here. 